In this video, I'm going to show you how to run a multiple linear regression in SPSS. So here I have this data set. Here you see that this is the cells. Okay, and then we have a store size one and zero, uh, one and two, one is small, two is large. Then we have price, we have promotion, competitor one, competitor two, and temperature. You can see a bit more detail about this variable. So here it is. So week is a uh, week of the year. Then we have uh, weekly sales in USD. As to size, we can see here one is small, two is large. Then we have price, price of the product. We have some promotion index. We have price of competitor one and price of competitor two, and then temperature in Celsius. Here we see that uh, these variables here, all uh, most of the independent variables except the store size are scale variables and our dependent variable is cells so we want to see if cells is affected by store size price promotion computer one price computer two price and temperature so to run a multiple linear regression we will go to analyze and then we will go to regression and then we will go here in linear and here we will just move our dependent variable in the dependence list and all other variables in the independent list i'll press the first one and then shift and the last one all are selected i'll move it here in the independent list and here note that i'm using the method enter okay so when we use the method enter it only accounts the independent variables that are mentioned by the researcher in this case by me okay so if i click ok let's see what do i get so this is uh my my variables considered in this analysis and then we have model summary we have the r square uh, and then adjusted r square so here the r square is 0 0.663 r square means how much in percentage all the independent variables explains change or variation in the dependent variable so in this case 66% variation in the dependent variable can be explained by the independent variables considered in this study. And adjusted R square is actually the R square when controlling for the sample size. And then we have the standard uh, standard error for the estimate. Okay. So normally a large difference between the adjusted r square and r square is not a good sign but here the difference is not very large so that's okay and then we have a table for ANOVA so if we look normally we will look here in the significance value so when the f value is approximately above 4 then we have a significant effect here this means that at least at least one of the independent variables has a significant effect on the dependent variable so only that's when we will get a significant value, significant uh, p-value here, okay? When at least one of the variables, independent variables, will have a significant effect on the dependent variable. That's when it will be significant, okay? So now let's see which are which variables have a significant effect on the dependent variable. So we have a detailed regression uh, coefficients here, de detailed regression analysis here. So here. If we quickly look here in the significance, we'll see that store size has a significant effect on the cells, and then at 5% significance level, uh, price has a significant effect, and then others do not really affect cells. Also, one more thing to look here is the coefficients. For instance, here, if we look at price, we have a negative coefficient. That means when price goes up, cells goes down. And the other way around when price goes down sales goes up for instance if I look into this coefficient so we have again we have to know that we have unstandardized coefficients and standard standardized coefficients so unstandardized coefficients tells us for each unit change in the independent variable how much the dependent variable will change given all these variables given the given the model here okay so for example let's say if i again talk about the price coefficient here so here it means that for one unit increase in price sales will go down by 35000 and 100 135 okay 
for let's say for promotion we have a positive value here although it is not significant but it would mean that for one unit increase in the value of promotion the cells will increase by 14.97 USD okay and it is likewise for one unit increase in the in the price of competitor one cells will go up by 45,000 USD 45,435 USD so temperature for one unit increase in the temperature cells will go down by 99.61 USD okay that's how we interpret the standardized coefficients and the constant is a fixed fixed value okay whenever if we do not consider any of these variable that's when our cells will be approximately 16,712 per week okay which is a negative value actually so cells cannot be really negative but yeah given this model and uh, for the standardized coefficients here it tells us the magnitude of the effect the one with the highest standardized standardized coefficients has the highest effect on the independent on the dependent variable for instance here we see the 0.442 for store size that means that store size has the highest effect on the dependent variable then we have this one minus 0.357 although it's a smaller number but we ignore let's ignore the sign here but 0.35 that is very high compared to others okay so this has the second highest impact the third highest impact is here the competitor one price so that's how it tells us like which variables is having the most effect okay. so thank you for watching this video uh, in the next video I'll cover the assumptions of uh, of a regression model we have uh, quite a few assumptions for regression models and uh, regression uh, line cannot be trusted if the assumptions are not met so i will cover those in the next video